Hey everyone, Steve Toth here from SEO Notebook. SEO Notebook is where you can get strategies like this delivered to you on a weekly basis every Tuesday morning, including videos. So go there to sign up for more stuff like this. All right, so today's tip um, comes from a friend of mine uh, named Leo Sulis. Leo's got a course in IMG Internet Marketing Gold where he basically has like this next level keyword research course that's super awesome. And he's allowed me to share one of the insights from his modules um, today with uh, SEO Notebook fans. So um, basically, you know, the, what the strategy boils down to is um, grabbing descriptions from Amazon sites. So why do we do that? Because Amazon sites, um, in this case, copy uh, pages, have limited description windows, right? So people have to really pack a lot of information into a small amount of space and they end up talking about all the really important things with with regards to coffee makers in these tight spaces. So once you've gone ahead and opened up, you know, three or four, however many, uh, in this case, coffee makers you want to open up, um, copy all those descriptions and drop them into uh, Google Docs. So once you're in Google Docs, um, sorry about that. Once you're in Google Docs, go to the Explore section on the bottom right hand corner. This is only available for Gmail Google Docs as far as I know. And you'll notice here it starts to give you topics that are contained within your content. So now click more and you're gonna get all these topics slash entities that are mentioned, right? So this is great. Like I, I had, you know, no idea prior to this that borosilicate glass was something that, you know, people so were, were looking for or was sought after with a coffee maker. Um, there's all, all these kinds of things like filtration, AeroPress, French press, mocha pot, you know, things that um, are, you know, important to talk about if you're writing in this niche. So the next step here is basically you have to kind of manually um, grab all of these. So that's what I've done here um, in this section here. And now I'm going to go over um, to one of my favorite tools, Hrefs, and plug that into Keywords Explorer. Now you'll see that all these keywords that are in that entity section are now in Keywords Explorer. And now I can go into the parent topics and start looking at um, you know what uh, what keywords are around something like French press or borosilicate glass or whichever one that I choose. So this is just going to take a minute to load up, but um, you can see here that it just populates tons of stuff that I might not even have known to kind of go into. Like if I was just going into Keywords Explorer and typing coffee maker, you know, it might take me longer time to get down to like really important things like borosilicate glass or a carafe or a French press. Whereas um, this method kind of like surfaces those kind of niche expert type things for you um, really quickly. So, um, you know, going from here, I would export this. I would look at, you know, medium competition um, stuff with um, still a decent CPC and decent volume. Uh, obviously, I'm looking at the SERP to see, um, you know, how uh, attainable um, some of these keywords are going to be for me and um, selectively adding those to uh, my, my keyword list as I'm doing all this stuff. Um, really, really cool um, technique. I love that Leo, um, you know, surfaced this in the course. Um, it's definitely something that um, I think is, you know, super cool. I mean, anything that, um, you know, we can, where we can let Google guide us on, um, you know, our keyword research, I'm all for it because, you know, it's straight from the horse's mouth in terms of what um, it, it is looking for when it comes to topics. So some other things that you could put in here, um, you could put in competitors, um, you can put in uh, things like Wikipedia pages if you're looking to write really comprehensively. And it's important to note that like the stuff that you find in here and the stuff that you find in this explore section don't necessarily have to go on one page, right? You can create multiple pages for all this stuff. You can just do a um, thing on why borosilicate glass is important, why it's better than regular glass. You can start opening these things up and then, you know, look at um, you know, how they're, how they're ranking, what keywords they're ranking for, how they're structuring their articles, etc. Um, this is an 
awesome way to kind of get subject matter expertise like really fast and uh, and yeah just like take it take all the information that Google Google is giving you and just exploit it to the maximum degree um, so that's it um, again this is Steve from SEO notebook it's an email list just sign up and you'll get a new piece of strategy each week just like this one um, you know sometimes it's featuring stuff like people from Leo sometimes it's stuff that I notice around the web uh, sometimes it's it's stuff that um, you know I'm highlighting yeah like other people's um, strategies and techniques with their permission and just uh, sharing it with you so that you can rank better um, I've got a few more videos just starting this channel anyway I'll leave it at that and uh, hopefully see you at the next one bye